Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna go over some research I've done about the prospects of the market and housing market in the Northern Illinois area and nationwide for 2022. So I've got some notes handy. Um, I'll just kinda kind of give you an overview real quick. It seems that uh, everybody, the, anal the analysts and everything are saying that interest rates are gonna go up a little bit, that the housing market is gonna ease up a little bit, but it's still gonna be difficult for first time buyers. So let me just refer back to my notes and let's see what other tidbits we can get. Um, the housing market seems to be more stable, uh, more stiff competition, and there will be a little bit of higher prices in um, the Chicago metro area. So the Chicago area, the suburbs, the further you go out, there's still a little bit of a higher price. And I've seen that here in my area, in the Oswego area. Uh, the median home sale price from January to November was 300000 which was up nearly 12% over the same period in 2020. Um, that is according to the Illinois Association of Realtors. Basically, some of the problems are there's too few homes for sale, and the homes that are up for sale are gone like that. They're gone very quickly. The highest uh, interest rates will hurt first time buyers. So I've seen some people saying that the interest rates are gonna go up to like 3.1% or 3.2% you know, or something like that. We're about at 2.6 right now. So that is quite a jump. So I would say if you're looking to buy, that you buy quickly at the first half of the year. Um, the Regional Economics Application Library at the University of Illinois looked at a six month forecast and they said that there was a 14% gap between those who were buying and those who were selling. And that kind of helps the fact that we've got a low inventory. 50% um, of the mortgages in the last month were refinancing. So a lot of people now are seeing that the refinancing bubble is starting to close. Like if you want to refinance, it's time to do it now. Um, we took advantage of that as well. I would say that probably in the next couple of months, that bubble is going to close up and people are not going to be refinancing as much. Fannie Mae has announced that if any underwriting decisions in the future, they will take in account applicants' rental history. So if you don't have a really great rental history in terms of on-time payments and things like that, then that will hurt you for a Fannie Mae or it may hurt you for a Fannie Mae loan. And that's like, you know, you're talking like FHA or VA, oh yeah, FHA, any like government subsidized loan. Um, inventory, in six to seven months, there might be an increase in foreclosures because we've had so many people go on forbearance for their mortgage but they're not seeing that as a huge issue right now. Um, there is a significant migration to lower priced areas, which means higher pricing in those lower priced areas. Suburban and rural areas will have fierce competition. Rents will keep going up. Uh, buyers in 2021 will come back. So everybody who was like 2019, 2020, they kind of were waiting around. They will be coming back in 2022. Uh, rent is projected to rise by 7% in 2022. Uh, so the top markets are small, smaller places that are less crowded. So everybody's like trying to still move out to some space. And that's what they predict is going to keep happening. So that's just a quick summary of some things that I have pulled from the Regional Economics Application Library at the U of I, and I pulled some from Illinois Association of Realtors. This data is available to you online. It's also available if you just ask me and I can search for whatever you need to know. And if you're getting ready to buy or sell your house, it's still always a great time to do it. Like right now, especially it's cold out and people are buying houses. So make sure you reach out to me, uh, Ruthie, real estate Ruthie at gmail.com or ruthfrykw.com, or you can just respond to this or send me a DM or whatever you want to do, and I will make sure to get a hold of you. Thanks so much. Have a great day.